Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy. And now my new venture is Whatnot. <music> like I am I do have an invite that you guys can use my link down below I have a seller link that you guys can get set up as a potential future seller and go through that process which is really uh, easy and intuitive and then also I have a link down below if you want to become a buyer and come to my first show hopefully you can you guys can come to support me um, you will get ten dollars to spend you can spend it in my show or you can spend it somewhere else and yeah so I'm going to be doing um, earrings almost all new old stock or newest tags earrings that I got from a shop goodwill lot I separated all the earrings out of two boxes that I just emptied and then, and then I separated it I got this shop Go goodwill box and another one um, I can't remember how, what the poundage was, but I spent about 70 something dollars in total. This came from New Mexico. I know that there's some um, areas that the Shop Goodwill bo boxes have done better for me. I don't know if I should disclose that here, but New Mexico is not one of them. Although I am looking forward to um, sharing with you guys a lot of the new old stock and new with take stuff. I know that it's good to go. It's not broken. <laughs> um, hopefully. So, um, if you are, if you guys don't know what whatnot is, basically you go on there, you set up a profile, you put in your like payment information, and then you can join shows that are live and the shows will pop up in different categories. Um, and there are like trading cards, Pokemon, different clothing themes, um, jewelry, of course. And as a reseller, I had to go through a little bit of the jewelry selling training and it was really easy. And then what I've been doing this past week is just staying in a few shows, watching them, buying some things. I bought some things from Texas Gal Treasures. She's one of my favorite YouTubers as far as like um, recognizing jewelry pieces and unboxings and things like that. So I went to her show and she had some giveaways and I did buy some things from her and um, I kind of wanted to feel out the process and a lot of people are really helpful if there's like things that are going wrong, people are there to help, it is a really great community as far as I've seen. I am still nervous about my first show but I'm hoping that I will have at least a few people bidding on items and um, there's going to be plenty of things. I'm, I think I'm going to start everything at like a dollar or two dollars. So if you win something at that bid of one to two dollars, it's going to be enough room for you guys to resell for profit if you guys want to resell or to get a really great deal for yourself. I know a lot of people on whatnot that are jewelry resellers will start it at their base price of what they would like to sell it at. So if they're selling like a sterling silver necklace, they might sell it or they might start it at 15. And then they only get like one bid for that because that's the price that they wanted to sell it at. Or they show a display of a table with numbers on it and say, is there anything that you guys want to see? Would you like that you would like me to run that you would be interested in? So they're not pulling up every single piece from their store at like one at a time, which is something I'm gonna be doing. I wanna get rid of all the stuff that came in my shop Goodwill, starting with the earrings. So, <clears throat> and then if something doesn't sell, I'm gonna be going to be putting it off to the side and everything that's in that lot at the end is going to be auctioned off at the end and someone's going to get a great reselling lot deal. Um, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys, if you're not aware, is that from my experience, I purchased three things from one seller. And so the first 
shipping price on a piece of jewelry was four dollars and then the second when I added another piece that second that uh, shipping price that was added was only 50 cents so I just wanted you guys to be aware that you're not going to be paying shipping for every single item they are bundling that so you are getting that shipping discount on multiple items so I guess it kind of promotes you to first get your first item that you want to buy and then obviously add more items later which will be easy to do because I think I have over 70 possibly 80 pairs of earrings so there's going to be multiple things that you will probably be interested in. I know I was interested, but I'm not going to be selling any of that myself. All of it that I got from the Shop Goodwill lot, including the singles at the end, are just going to be in a lot or being sold. So I will make sure to turn my camera around so you guys can see. Hopefully my nails are done drying. Um, but I'm excited. I'm really nervous, you guys. <laughs> just don't judge me <laughs> um but yeah it's a it just seems like a lot of fun and a really fun community so yeah let's get started on looking at the jewelry okay so I'm in my light box let's get that set up here you can see my tripod and when I'm going to be doing my whatnot show I'm going to be doing it from this area and Hopefully there's not going to be bags all over the place, but I kind of want to show you what I all did is I put things into different baggies like this and put numbers on it and then when you are doing your own whatnot show, you pin the item that you want to show and then you run it um, like what, whether it's sudden death, which means no seconds will be added on. If someone bids, no seconds are going to be added on to wait for the next person to bid. So if I do 20 seconds set in death, it is everyone who bids within that 20 seconds gets a bid. But if if you're not doing set in death, you um, you can put 20 seconds on the clock, and then if someone bids, it might add a few extra seconds to give people a little bit more time to gather themselves. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be doing. I've been in auctions with both. There's also buy it now, which I have not seen too often. Um, but I have like this whole thing full, which I'm going to show you. So grab yourselves a drink, you guys. I did my nails for this video. Um, we've been out and about doing crazy stuff lately. So um, I made myself a little bit more presentable for you guys. And yeah, if this is your first time here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join our community. I do a lot of jewelry hauls, unboxings, antique store type stuff as well as teaching you guys about reselling um, and organizing and shipping shoes and belts and things like that. All right, so like I said, there's over 70 pieces. I'm not going in order and I might be able to just show you guys a lot of these in the bag. <clears throat> Anyways, you guys can see this C established 1946, I believe is by the brand Cato, C-A-T-O, and I believe these must have been sold at maybe TJ Maxx because it has the compare at $14. So this is really cute. These are Love Never Fails, hook, dangle, earrings, obviously new with tags. This one is a new day which is Target. This one actually came off right here you can see that that part ripped off but it is still new it just ripped off and it's like a silver pewtery glass on a gold tone hoop. Their big statement and if someone wins this for a dollar I think that's a really great dea deal. That would be even cheaper than clearance. Oh, looks like the other one fell off too. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'll be showing that one. Here is like a vintage hand-painted pair of earrings. A lot of these vintage earrings are actually pierced. I was really surprised of what all came in the two boxes. And yeah, so I have brooches and bracelets and necklaces all sorted as well. And they're off to the side and then 
I'm going to be auctioning those off as well, but these are a really cute tropical print. Ooh, look at these little vintage dangles. Merry Christmas. So originally $2.99. They don't make noise, but they're little tiny presents. If you're selling vintage jewelry, you might think that you need to take off all the price tags, but a lot of people that are collectors or are searching for vintage jewelry know that that's really not the price anymore, and so feel free to price it accordingly. This being an auction, I guess I don't really care that much that the price is on there. Um, so yeah, these really cute little Christmas earrings. All right. I got a quite, I got quite a few of these red cobra, um, new old stock earrings, and I have never heard of this brand before. And I don't think that there is like a maker's mark or anything on there. So if it wasn't on this, um, this card that said Red Cobra by Frank. Giordano. I would not know it, but these I'm thinking are 80s. They're like stud earrings and I'm thinking they're 80s just because of the teal and the purple and the gold, which is totally 80s statement. And I'm thinking this brand is also um, like more of statement earrings type of a brand and you'll see why um, as we go along. <clears throat> All right grab these. So this might also help you if you are a jewelry reseller or you're thinking of being a, becoming a jewelry reseller of the kind of things you might see in a Shop Goodwill box. Now with Shop Goodwill you are able to preview some of the top pictures and like maybe five of the pictures, they don't go through and show you everything that's in the lot. But you kind of get, get an idea of what you're gonna get. So I just saw a whole smear of like cards <laughs> with jewelry on it. And I know like for me personally, I do a pretty okay, especially on Poshmark with new with tag stuff. I think people filter that. Um, I'm not getting like a lot of the really nice pieces though that I love. like old Trifari, old Miriam Haskell. I never did <laughs> Miriam Haskell, but like, you know what I mean? Like those really nice pieces, Boucher, um, anyways, Magnolia Grace, like a hammered, um, abstract teardrop hook. And then, oh, I love these. There's a few of these in this, in this lot. So these are hand painted Native American on wood and they're signed. None of these earrings I actually looked up, so I do not know the maker. I did not want to look things up and then be tempted to try to sell them myself. Honestly, everything that, that I'm showing in this lot, I would price on eBay for at least $7.99 and up. So if anybody gets anything for, you know, two, three bucks, I, you know, easily can resell. And um, this is just so cool, isn't it? Yeah, little hand-painted wood earrings that are signed. <clears throat> I'm not sure what these are, but I threw these in here instead of like the lot at the end because I think someone might like these. These are like statement rhinestone hoop earrings. And then, what are these? Oh, ho, ho, I, I kind of wanted to keep these for myself, <laughs> but we're selling them. These again are the C established 1946. They are a plastic acrylic peachy pink floral like post pierced earrings. I think those are really trendy and super cute. This box has both vintage and like trendy stuff in it. So these actually look to be oh, okay. These actually look to be like sterling silver. I have not tested them and they were not marked as far as I can see. I mean, look at the, look at the uh, backings. Totally looks sterling silver. I actually am wondering if these are not new old stock because when it says like fashion earrings like this, it might have been at like an antique store. 
So let's just take a peek real quick. Let's see. Yeah, these totally look like they could be sterling silver or sterling silver plated. Yeah, there's nothing on this backing and nothing on the front. Alright, but they are having a little bit of dirtiness. Anyways, um, so full pearl, little cupid, and little world and star this is like really bizarre right like a world cupid and star like what are you trying to be uh, i don't know whatever we're gonna still sell that one okay okay let's see some paparazzi you guys so if you don't know there are some poppy paparazzi sellers jewelry sellers on whatnot and I think paparazzi usually goes around five dollars a piece I try to not sell mine for five dollars a piece that's too low for me personally but if I haven't listed all these things I have not listed on eBay I have not taken the time for pictures or cleaning or anything like that I just put them in bags put them in a number now I'm video recording <laughs> with you guys to show you what is up but yeah like I'm I would have no problem you know selling this for a dollar or two with that little bit of work involved and but these are really cute these are like a southwest style with the faux coral look and the feather dangles and hooks these I believe are Avon so oh nope they're not let's see these also again I think are they might be sterling silver. So look at these. And they're just little snowflakes. And they don't say anything. But they're like in this little box. No lid. These are going to go up. I put these all in a lot. They're by the brand White Stag. Which they would not be marked on the back or anything. But they're all just really dainty looking black glass it says genuine crystal and then pierce so these were um, pretty inexpensive possibly like a uh, vintage I don't know I don't know but I put them in a lot because they're all kind of well they're the same brand and they kind of complement each other so there's that oh here are these so these look like nothing right and I have not heard of that brand TJW but they are enamel on copper which is totally MCM to do the oh is this copper or brass I don't know but it's enamel on brass I don't know but it's like that greenish enamel swirl that was like from the 80s. So I think someone would like these. Yeah. New old stock. TJW. Big statement button earrings. Not plastic. So there's that. Encore. These are some new old stock earrings with like that enamel and mint green and gold that I probably would price up a little bit if I were to put them on eBay like at least maybe $14.99, $17, $19.99 just because of the style and how they look that like Aztec Southwestern style I think they're really really cool they are pierced like I said vintage you can just tell because of the sticker what does it say Broadway Southwest those are pretty cool I did lock together a bunch of heart earrings so there are quite a few and they are totally like 80s 90s colors all different But you can see those. This is another lot I put together. 
That might be cute to do like a um, vintage spa day themed bridal party bachelorette bachelorette party or whatever I have those earrings these are some new old stock jody coyote and these are sterling silver jody coyote i have not heard of her but they are these are like a flat hoop and yeah if i were to sell those on ebay probably i don't know 14 17.99 here are some brass, like boho brass earrings. They're pierced, dangled. They do look like sand dollars. So really cute, like probably would be really cute, like boho beach style, sweet. Grab some more over here. Okay. Capri. Not heard of that brand either. So these are just fancy formal rhinestone dangle. Pierced. Wondering if I should have like a little ruler <laughs> next to me because some people might wonder where it would hit like whether it hits on their shoulder or like if their hair is a certain length I don't know I'm not going to be measuring every single piece and putting it in the listing I'm not even taking pictures beforehand either I've had mixed reviews on that some people have do it where they take a picture of each item and then as they're auctioning, people have already been able to preview and pre-bid on certain items. And then some people have said that, that they don't do it because if someone previews your items and they don't see anything that they like, they won't come. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of work, though, to, you know, go through all that if you don't have to. So I'm not doing it for the first time. So here are petroglyph art. And these are special because obviously they are a 925 and they are marked on the back with a little um, maker's mark somehow. What is that? I'm looking at the camera. I can't tell what it is, but it does say 925. Little um what is that called where they like they're fertile i don't know what is that well obviously this is the man and this is the woman what is that called with the statues i forget <laughs> uh, so we're selling that one because it came in a lot and yes there you go petroglyphs fertility i don't know something you guys probably know. Oh, these ones are my favorite. These ones are so my favorite. Not something I would wear. I would want to wear these. You guys, <laughs> when I get excited about things, I get excited. So, like, I have a really hard time, sh like, showing emotions differently than how I feel. Which is, like, a good thing in, like, a relationship. <laughs> but it's not a good thing a lot of times because a lot of people will say, like, lighten up or don't look so sad or whatever often to me but when I'm excited about something I like get really excited <clears throat> and so yeah it's really hard for me to be like fake yeah so anyways these are ceramic painted like I just love these colors these are like my favorite colors and oh they're so so pretty so they must be like handmade artisan pieces but these are just stunning. I don't know if they're vintage or not, but like it, these I think are my favorite out of the entire lot. <sighs> so yeah, those are so pretty. Okay, let's see what else we 
here's another of that TJW. And these are some navy door knocker earrings. And again, they're pierced. You would think that vintage earrings like this, at, le at least in my experience, a lot of the, a lot of the time are clip-on. So yeah, these are like a matte navy with a little cream white cabochon and they are pierced. So that was pretty cool. Now again, this is the red cobra. These are some flower dangle statement earrings pierced again and has this little red cobra tag tag of authenticity right there is this the back it might be flipped yeah there we go here's some clip-ons Ooh, look at these you guys cameos and they are not perfectly symmetrical. So are they carved? I don't know. Yeah, they probably are carved, but not of shell. So they're clip-on. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, so they still have some kind of tag on them. They're not marked... I don't know what they would be made out of because they're blue. So I'm not, and I'm not researching them. So we are going to sell them as is. And I know that there's another pair of earrings in here that are also cameos. These I do not believe are new. These are vintage. They are pierced, red enamel and gold tone, and then also rhinestones. These are like a nice chic pair of stud earrings. Okay, these are also one of my favorites. Super Southwestern. I actually have a pair that looks very similar to this myself that I have worn. These have that teal and purple color dingle. Almost look like a dream catcher. There we go. Surgical steer, surgical steel earring wires. That's what that looks like. But these are really pretty. Okay. Sorry, you guys. All right. Citations. This is green enamel. Um, new old stock again. And again, these are pierced, so these look like they would be in door knockers, but they actually are not articulated, so they're like a solid piece, but super chic. Nice pair of vintage earrings. Fitz and Company. So these are a lever back. This is a plastic little jewel in there with a light blue rhinestone and... Just teardrop, really pretty. These would still be, I would feel like these would still be considered like modern looking. Even though they might be vintage, they might be. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, these I'm pretty sure are vintage. They are like Dalmatian painted white and black hoop with metal earrings. So these might also, they might not be new old stock because they say that like, they say $2. So sometimes antique stores do that where they do the fashion earrings and then they have like a little um, barcode on the back or a thrift store or something like that. So I don't know. They look good though. Okay. World Market. These are again, some of my, oh, I think I scratched my nail polish. Felt it. All right. Turkish Bazaar World Market. Again, these are some of my favorite. I just really like that boho look. They're etched. Really pretty laurel looking thing. I like those a lot. These 
are just some pretty large pierced vintage silver tone circle earrings and these are going to precede the most obnoxious earrings you guys have ever seen. You guys ready? So I really hope somebody bids on these. <laughs> I want to know you. I want to know who you are if you like um, earrings like this because these are definitely going to be hitting your shoulders. Let me just see real quick. Yes, like they hit your shoulders. <laughs> like, oh, you guys, this is too funny for me. Like, this is hilarious. It sounds like a cowbell. Okay, someone please buy these because I just think that that would be like just the ultimate. Like, someone needs these in their life. Go to the club. No, don't go to the club. Stay home and knit <laughs> with uh, these lovely earrings. All right, what is next? These are just some faux stone. I can't tell through the plastic. I actually did not even open the plastic. They do feel cold. They are pierced. They're meant to look southwestern. They, I think they actually are stone. They don't have any marks that I can see. Should I take it out of the package? It'll still be new. Let's just see. Okay, this is very obnoxious crinkling happening. I'm so sorry. If you guys have tea and coffee and you're all working hard or snuggling, listening to this crinkling. Okay. This feels yeah I don't know this feels to be like stone okay let's just see so I do not see any marking or anything like that all right well these are going to be sold anyways no matter what they might be like a, a dyed howlite I think that's what it is and now this bag is ripped, and I'm going to have to fix number eight. Put that over there. Okay, here's some more, some more beautiful painted wood earrings. So these are um, a little bit less showy than the other ones that has actual people painted on them, but these are a light blue, green, and purple. Really pretty, and yeah. Okay, let's see. Here are just some leverback gold tone with purple, like moonstone, faux moonstone, where it kind of shines back and forth like that. Leverback again, you guys. It has that two dollar thing. I'm gonna look because this must be, it must be like a thrift store type of a deal. So let's see, because I don't think a regular store even if it was vintage i don't think that these would have sold for two dollars so let's see i don't see any marks or anything on it but really pretty right someone likes lavender or purple they might really like those earrings okay chew away oh I see some more of my favorites. I have so many favorites, you guys. Okay, well, anyways, these are not my favorites, but I put these in a lot as well because they totally complement each other. Like you could have, if you have multiple pierce, piercings in your ears, these could be the statement, and these could be like the stud, but definitely like vintage. What does it say? Suzik's Casuals. And again, pierced. They're like that brushed silver tone with enamel dots on them. Super fun. And then these I all put in the lot as well. And these are like super hippie. Super hippie, hippie, hippie. Uh, love child, hippie, dippy, crochet. 
uh, hook earrings, right? And they're like sturdy. They're not floppy at all. So these are definitely handmade with some a little bit nicer of fabric. I can crochet doilies, so I can appreciate whoever made these. And hopefully somebody else will because they are so stinking cute and can totally go with that um, hippie, canthabay, bohemian look that a lot of people might like. And my favorites, some of my favorites, of course, it's that cloisonne look. This is a little butterfly with flowers on it. Again, these are pierced and they are just lovely. And I guess that they're new old stock. They're still on this little tiny thingamabob. So cute. All right, let's grab more handfuls. We are past 35 minutes now. I'm going to take a drink. I'm just imagining that this whatnot show is going to be a couple hours long, but that's okay. All right, <clears throat> look at these. Oh, you guys, I almost feel like I want to do this auction when there's more people that know, like can come because I want more people to like appreciate this with me. Again, signed. And just look at these little painted people. I love it so much. I love it so stinking much. Like, if nobody buys this, I kind of want to keep them. <laughs> but I won't because I said I wouldn't. But, oh my gosh, I love them so much. Love, love, love. Oh, these go in that heart lot that I need to find. Okay. Obviously, they, these are missing too, but these are Target studs and they say semi-precious but like is this the only semi-precious stone <laughs> these little tiny tiny little balls what are they adventurine or quartz or something anyways missing two originally $14.99 thought someone might want these in like something maybe like a dollar or something okay Ooh, here are the other cameos now these I think are shell cameos these are very beautiful. Jewelry by Suzanne. Don't know who that is. It is not marked that I can see. And let's take them out because they are just lovely. So yes, these are the kinds of things um, that you can still find in the lots that don't look the most appealing. I think that the most appealing lots that a lot of people go for Jewelry wise on Shop Goodwill are the ones that you can see a lot of nice vintage pieces. And then and then lots that look like this, right? A lot of people don't really go for. So then I will get them. I think I got one box for like 28 and then one box for 50 or maybe like 49 or something. And then some vintage looking boxes go for over a hundred dollars. <throat> but yeah, you still get some nicer pieces in there. So does not look like it was marked or anything um, but still these do appear to be shell cameo and I could get into um, how you can tell if it would be a carved shell or not but this is not that video so alright cute little Open Work Butterflies, Kathy Lee collection. Really dainty, pretty gold tone butterflies, pierced. Here's that Red Cobra by Frank Giorgiano again. These are gold tone hammered. And clearance for $7.50 at one point, pierced again. These do feel a little bit heavier, more substantial. Ooh, look at this, you guys vintage old new old stock Monet these are those shell earrings surgical steel posts made in USA these were sold at Marin's Mervin 
what does it say? Yeah, Mervyn's. Okay, I put these all in a lot. They are all like metal. Is that? Oh, that's just like fuzz or something. So there's yellow, blue, and purple. I thought that they all kind of complemented each other. Again, all new old stack, pierced. Superstar. <laughs> Superstar accessories. And these are like faux white buffalo, which is like faux white turquoise. Maybe I should wear that ring for the whatnot video. It is like literally honking, a honking ring. And it's one of my favorites. It's very heavy though, so. Um, I don't know, Southwestern, boho, new. Okay, these are some lace H&M. Can I say uh, Victorian Revival? <laughs> Does H&M have Victorian Revival? These were originally $9.99, and then, where does it say H&M? Right there. Long-ish, and then they have, it feels like glass, so these are actually glass beads down at the bottom. Again, TJW by Mervyn's. Oh, there's that Mervyn guy. But these are definitely what? what are these? Georgian Revival? Victorian Revival? Like, you know what this reminds me of? You know the movie, um, Ever After? Where Marguerite is brooch shopping and she tries to find the brooch that is, like, the biggest one to draw attention to her bosoms. Right? Isn't that what it reminds you of? Like, come see my ears. Check, check them out. They're so big. But again, these are pierced and they're so pretty. Definitely one of my favorites. Not my style to wear, but my, one of my favorites to look at for sure. Okay, here is that Kato brand. These are like a, are these black glass? These are like a chandelier style dangle hook rhinestones and compare at $12. Ooh, okay. These are American Eagle. I'll take them off for you guys. Okay. American Eagle dangle. So the heart kind of like moves around. And these are sterling silver, which you can totally tell they are tarnishing a bit. These were $12.50, really dainty, nice sterling silver earrings by American Eagle. Okay. Next, ooh, let's take a look at these. I do think that these ones are actually really pretty. Again, a lot of these brands, I don't think I would have known what they were if they did not have cards with them. So these were originally 20 at Kohl's. These are a little bit of an oil stain right here on the card, but Dana Buckman, Buchman, Buchman, Buchman. <laughs> it has either abalone or faux abalone under like a plastic, faceted plastic. Really pretty though. I love that abalone look. And a lever back. And they do feel really nice and substantial. Not like Walmart. Okay, more universal thread studs. They are missing a couple again. Sonoma. They're just some red cha cha. And these were originally $14. <gasps> Ooh, I love these. These have like art deco lines to me. And these are also like kind of like door knocker style. And 
the reason I'm saying like art deco look is because it has this like topper I don't know shell fan topper thing and then these really like harsh lines with it these like geometric lines so that just totally reminds me of that art deco look and if you are not familiar with art deco I do have a video explaining it I can't remember what it was basically watch Hercule Poirot Agatha Christie Hercule Poirot over and over and then you will feel like you're Im immersed in the art deco period <laughs> that is literally I would say that is probably my most favorite show or one of the top three is Hercule Poirot with David Suchet I've watched all the episodes a million times okay so ooh, we got to number one so this is the first one on the whatnot thing and it is just Ellen Tracy new with tags faux pearl dangle with rhinestone these are pierced and it might have come with a necklace that is no longer there these are Eliza Jane again these might have come with a necklace that is no longer there these were $27.99 but it might have come with something else it looks like it was cut off so but they are like a pretty multicolored rhinestone deal going on man talking for this long <laughs> explaining things that was a little bit Ooh, this these I if I have if I were to list these in my eBay store I think I might have I might list these a little bit higher if I were to keep these um these are by the brand two sisters which is um a pretty recognizable vintage brand these are clip-on but these are giraffes so like novelty right and then they have like a little bit of a red rhinestone eye and then new old stock so I think these have a lot going for them I really like them I just sold a giraffe vintage scarf today on Etsy here are ooh, these are also some of my favorite ones and I don't think they're marked so pierced and really really pretty purple rhinestone earrings I don't see purple that often in vintage jewelry like the rhinestone blingy purple gorgeous like royalty looking <laughs> purple yeah am I making sense I'm just looking at how beautiful these are they're so pretty oh, so pretty okay here are just some fun whimsical enameled vintage old stock earrings that are black and yellow which I think is kind of interesting for being vintage these are also pierced and they are that red enamel this is like a gold chain nothing moves so these are like some nice statement earrings these are M M hook hoop sorry hoop earrings gold tone M so if someone's name starts with M Michelle Mary Marguerite mama muffins I'm on a diet you guys so muffins all right impulse these are missing some but I really think that these are actually pretty neat on their own they're like renaissance looking crosses with a faux pearl in them just some cute studs so if someone got these for like two three bucks I think they're really cute um, here's that classic 80s enamel swirl earring I don't think that these are new um, these look like they were just put on this foam piece they're triangles so that's kind of interesting these I did not test these could possibly be sterling silver let's just look so a lot of times with Native American jewelry they will do did the hook come off yes it did put that hook back on a lot of time with Native American jewelry they will do like bone 
and coral and like sterling silver and uh i'm not sure if that's what this is because i did not test anything there we go this goes down there kind of looks a little bit like sterling let's see with bone you can kind of see little pucks and little striations and things like that these beads are throwing me off they are sorry you can't even see um the beads are throwing me off because they are faceted but they're they're not like solid colored so i'm not sure what they are interesting don't know so those are going in there Um, just some in and out purple, lever back gold tone. Ooh, these are so pretty. Ah! Look at how pretty these are. Fitz and Co. So, again, Fitz and Co. And then they are like painted blue on a gold tone flower with these royal blue colored rhinestones. Yeah, again, it says $2. No, I do not think that these were $2. Should I take all those tags off? Maybe. <clears throat> okay. Next is Kato. Again, and this has like a really pretty muted seafoam green color with a silver tone. Hooks. New. Um, new. Oh, New York and Company. These are black on black. Really like um, career wear ready black on black stud flower earrings. And do they have a price? No. Okay, next I am selling all of these as a lot because I'm not sure if they were all used at one point or some of them are used but they all I believe are Avon and they all are pretty interesting in some way so I'm just going to show you but they're like those front back earrings so like this would go you could do this by itself or together or put one thing in the back and one thing in the front and it kind of like does that with this one and then you can do this one by itself or together with that and then this one kind of like dangles or you could take off that little dangle so I thought those are all really interesting they are marked on the back Avon here are just some beaded again that Caddo brand seed bead like royal blue hoop earrings all right we're getting down farther we're still under an hour so that's good okay so let's take a look at the last bits here is another painted wood earring doodad thing going on oh these are really pretty um amber colored faceted cattle these wood pieces yeah or sh coconut shell they actually look like coconut shell chunks right there and hook these are let's see these are definitely newer superstar these are tassel earrings with these little dainty plastic flowers at the top Okay. Look at this. Copper cuff. I'm going to show you guys. So this is a not like, I don't know if you guys know what cuffs are. Most likely you do, but this is, you don't have to have a pierced ear to wear this. And you just wear this at the, at the top of your ear. And it is marked, where is it marked? It is marked C, 
CH in there. So I don't know if that is the designer or what, but I don't think this is new because someone wrote this copper. I mean, it looks new, but that one's pretty cool. And I actually have a bracelet that matches this and it's in my own collection and I don't really wear it. It's kind of thin and I have like wider wrists um, with my bone structure and so like it looks so small on me. Maybe, maybe I'll sell that one too. All right, Anne Klein. These are really pretty citrine colored um, drop earrings. They are pierced. And yeah, just simple, classic, pretty. Here is some Avon earrings in a box. Let's see what you are. <gasps> Ooh, these are some um, hearts with roses and pink pastel, very light pink enamel and it kind of looks like breast cancer awareness they are pierced and it comes in this little sweet powder bathroom looking box cute okay next 46. Look at these starburst earrings. Crazy. So these remind me of like boom pow superhero comic book comic con earrings. That would be cool for like cosplay comic con. Like to come as one of those um, pop art characters where you like dot your makeup to look like a pop art character and then have these like boom pow earrings <clears throat> All right, next are these really sweet I'm thinking glass or garnet earrings it says contempo casuals and they're just really pretty with that ruby red color white house black market Oh my gosh, these feel so nice. Like some things, um, like some of the cool stuff feels nicer than like um, Walmart, for example, or Claire's. But these, along with like J. Crew, actually feel like really, really nice. Like a lot nicer of quality than your typical modern day stuff. So. These are just White House Black Market chandelier hook earrings. These were originally $35, marked down to $24.99. All right, we're almost done. Let's just show these. So I have a whole lot. Let's just look. Let us look at these. <laughs> these I'm selling as a lot. These might be funny, fun, sorry, fun for a Yahtzee party <laughs> or, um, I don't want to promote like gambling or anything like that but um I wonder if they have the whole rainbow let's see so I don't see a purple almost almost the entire rainbow so there is a set of eight dye earrings like a lime green over here it's like isn't this fun wouldn't that be fun to like like girls trip and I got you guys all matching earrings and we're gonna have so much fun the only one that's an oddball is the Shein I don't know like why I got all these in the lot and then like these orange ones that is so strange but that is super fun fun for a game night Okay, two more, you guys. Alright, here are some icing, which 
literally are not that exciting but what is exciting about these is that they're modern and they're clip-on so if you cannot wear pierced earrings they irritate you um you just don't want to get your ears pierced or you have religious reasons why you don't pierce your ears blah 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 um these could be an option and i thought that was interesting like yeah gunmetal gray silver and gold tone dingly earrings lastly fourth of july seed bead hoops these were on a card but the card was trash so i did um take them off these are new and yeah America right um what is this red from anyways that is that for all of the earrings all right so we are around an hour right now um that was a lot of earrings that's about 80 pairs of earrings right there and we will see how far we get in the whatnot show if there was anything you liked and you're looking forward to make sure to come to my whatnot show i really want you guys to come hang out with me um hang out in the chat there's some really great people there already that go to a lot of different jewelry shows and hype other people up and then um if you are planning on joining as a seller yourself use me as your guinea pig <laughs> say if Rachel can do it I can do it look at her she is selling all this jewelry hopefully and I can do it too hopefully um and then if you guys are sellers already you, we can do like shout outs and stuff in the comment section and you guys can shout out when your next upcoming show can be so other people might bookmark it so yeah use my link down below again um to click on whatnot to get started whether you want to be a seller or get that ten dollar credit um to go on whatnot and then get started with all that make sure you just dabble watch a couple shows make sure to book bookmark my show if you guys can't find me just always look up lily works it's all one word l-i-l-y w-o-r-k-s I'm on there you will see my face <laughs> and then you'll see my show on my profile and um, yeah so if you like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up I hope I will see you guys in my whatnot show even if you are not there to buy jewelry just to say hi that would be awesome and uh, if you like this kind of content and more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time thanks and make sure to thrift and live generously. Bye guys.